Okay, so we're going to be using our formula. Let me write that up here. A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R divided by N. You have to take the annual percentage rate and divide it by how many times you're compounding, okay? Because you're not going to be able to get that whole annual rate in three months, right? Like you have to divide that up. Okay, so that's why you have that division. And then you're compounding it. Well, you know, how many times are you compounding in a year times how many times a year? Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. All right, we're going to have $1,000 at 10%. So that's going to be the rate of interest. This is going to be the R, 0 0.1. This will be the P. And we're going to do it for one year. So that's going to be the time. What's going to change is N. So we keep the P. That's the same. The R, that's the same. And the T, that's the same. But N is going to keep changing. So first we're going to do it annually. Annually means that N equals 1. So we're just compounding it one time after, no, after a year. Just the one time compounding. <laughs> okay, so our amount is going to equal the principal, 1,000, times 1 plus, and then it's going to be 0 0.1, the rate, divided by 1, because that's how often we're compounding it, to 1 times 1. Okay, now um, I'm going to do a lot of the work on the calculator, but I usually like to do some of it by hand if it's pretty easy to do makes it easier to put in the calculator. So I don't really need this 1, because to the power of 1, you know, that's fine. Um, the principal, and then I did this parenthesis part. I just did it in my head. You could use a calculator to do that. OK, so now I go to my calculator, and I type in 1,000 times 1.01, .01, and I'm getting 1,100. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the cents, because we're going to be doing money. So we're dealing in dollars and cents. We're going to go to the nearest penny. And we will be rounding. Okay, so if I put it in for one year, compound it annually, I get $1,100. Now I'm going to do semi-annually. Semi-annually means twice a year, so n is equal to 2. So my formula is going to change. I'm going to have 1,000. The principle stays the same. 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2. And then that's going to be 2 times the one year. Okay. So I keep writing that out so you can see how the formula works, where all the numbers go, the P, R, N, and T. So I get 1,000 times 1.05. You could do that on a calculator. Square. Okay. So now here I go to my calculator. I put in 1,000 times 1.05 squared. And I should make more money than I did um, annually because I'm doing it semi-annually. So it looks like I'm getting $1,102.50. So I'm making $2.50 more than if it had been compounded annually. OK, quarterly. I should make even more money. Now we're compounding it four times in a year. So quarterly means four times a year. So I'm going to take my $1,000. 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4 to the power of 4 times 1 for $1,000. And this is going to wind up being 1.025. And it'll be raised to the fourth power. Now, you could always do that parenthesis part um, on your calculator. Just go 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4. And yeah, OK, I'm just double checking it. Then I can raise that to the fourth power and times it by 1,000. And that just follows the order of operations. A lot of times students like to write it out step by step. But um, I'll, at the end, I'll show you how to do it so that um, you can just put the whole thing in your calculator. 1103.81. It doesn't round up. So all right, so I'm making a little bit more money, another $1.31. All right. Now we're going to go for monthly. Well, monthly means n is 12, because there's 12 months in a year. So we're going to be compounding it every month, or 12 times in the year. So it's going to be 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 12 to the 12 times 1. We're still just doing one year. OK, now I'm going to put this in my calculator. 
So let me scroll down a little bit so you can see how to type this in. So monthly, it's, I'm going to put a thousand times, and then I'm going to put a parenthesis, one plus 0 0.1 divided by 12. Now on my calculator, the division sign shows like a slash. It might show a division mark. Um, or a division symbol. Okay, and then you got to close that parenthesis off to the power of, and then you open a parenthesis 12 times 1. Now, I know what 12 times 1 is, so I don't really have to bother with the parentheses there because I could just put 12. But let's say we were leaving it in for 15 years or something. Well, then I'm going to have to go 12 times 15, but it has to be in the parentheses. Okay, so I go to my calculator and I type this in 1,000 times 1, whoops, I have to have a parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 12, close the parenthesis, and to the power of 12. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting, no, I'll put it right here, one $1,104.71. So a little bit more money. Not that much more. Um, really, not even a whole dollar more. But uh, that's okay. All right. <laughs> and then finally, we're going to do daily. So daily is going to be the $1,000. 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 365 to the power of 365 times 1. Okay. So we're going to do the same calculation that we just put in the calculator, but we're going to change out that 12 for a 365. Now, I didn't do the parenthesis part because, like I said, I know what 365 times 1 is. It's just 365. Okay, so let's put this in the calculator and see how much money we make. Um, Calculators work differently, so you're going to have to play along with some of these to learn how your calculator works. Um, I probably shouldn't talk and do this at the same time, but I put in 1,000 times parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 365. I'm going to close that parenthesis. These parentheses are really important. To the power of 365, and let's see what we get. We get uh, probably what we expected, but $1,105, and it looks like this is going to round up to $0.16. Cents. So straight rounding rules on this. If it's five or more, it's going to round up, and that one is. Okay, so a little bit of work with the calculator. You'll have to you and your calculator will have to learn to get along um, to be able to do these calculations. We do not do these by hand. <laughs> you know, you can't, it'd be really difficult to raise something to a power of 365 by hand. Okay, so there's some examples for you and we will have more.